Today, I want you to remember you are defined not by your circumstances, but by the struggles you are willing to face to overcome them. My brothers and my sisters, every challenge you encountered, it shapes your character and strengthens your resolve. Embrace your difficult times as opportunities for growth and transformation. It is through faith in God, perseverance, and dedication that God reveals to you who you really are and helps you uncover the strength within you to achieve greatness in him. So keep leaning and depending on God. Continue to push forward, for it is your persistence in the struggle that truly defines who you are, and what you can achieve. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come now thanking you for this new day you and you alone have blessed us with. We thank you for being the creator of all. We thank you for being the most high God. And we thank you for loving us, even in spite of our shortcomings. And right now, Lord, we ask you to forgive us of our shortcomings. And we ask you to create in us a clean heart and to renew a steadfast spirit within us, restoring to us the joy of your salvation as we come before your throne. We ask you, Father, to give us the endurance to push through on today. Give us the mindset to be what you have called us to be. Give us the heart to be loving channels to our brothers and sisters for your glory and for your honor. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to look on our children. We ask you to bless them, Lord, as they prepare to go to school. And we ask you to bless those who are already in school. We simply ask you to be a hedge of protection around our babies on today. We ask you to keep them from all harm. And we ask you to touch their minds, Lord, and give them a heart to learn so they can be better in our community. So, Lord, as we begin this day, we ask you to prepare us for the struggles that lie ahead. We ask you, Lord, to give us a heart to embrace the good and the bad as we strive to grow in you. Give us a heart to love one another, and build up our community so that you get the honor and glory. So we ask you to be with us now. As we go forth, we ask you to bless those who are sick. We ask you to bless those who are shut in. We ask you to bless those who are struggling within their homes, Lord. And we just want to honor you on today as we boldly go forth into a day in which we've never seen before. So we simply thank you for being God and God alone. We thank you for calling us out of darkness into your light. We thank you for calling us into the ministry, Lord, that you have for us, Lord. And we are going to do our best to be custodians of the promise. We're going to be do our best to work in excellence. We're going to do our best, Lord, to cultivate opportunities in the field on today, Lord God. We're going to do our best, Lord, to bring forth unity among our brothers and our sisters. So, Lord, we ask you to give us power on today as we go forth. We ask you to move like you've never moved before, and we ask you to flow like you've never flown before. So we ask you, Father, to fall afresh in our hearts right now as we go forth. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, and it is in Jesus' strong and matchless name we pray. Amen, and we give you praise. And remember, you're defined not by your circumstances, but you are defined by the struggles you are willing to face and overcome. God bless you and make today the best day of your life, knowing that tomorrow is going to be even better. God bless you.